Hello students. Let's start our class. Today, we are going to discuss a new chapter from your economics. The name of the chapter is People as Resource. The chapter People as Resource is an effort to explain population as an asset for the economy rather than a liability. Population becomes human capital when there is investment made in the form of education, training, and medical care. In fact, human capital is the stock of skill and productive knowledge embodied in them. Dear students, people as resource is a way of referring to a country's working people in terms of their existing productive skills and abilities. Looking at the population from this productive aspect emphasizes its ability to contribute to the creation of the gross national product like other resources population also is a resource a human resource this is the positive side of a large population that is often overlooked when we look only at the negative side considering only the problems of providing the population with food education and access to health facilities when the existing human resource is further developed by becoming more educated and healthy, we call it human capital formation that adds to the productive power of the country just like physical capital in formation. Dear students, Investment in human capital through education, training, and medical care yields a return. This can be seen directly in the form of higher income earned because of higher productivity of the more educated or better trained people as well as higher productivity of healthier people. Human capital is undoubtedly superior to other resources like land and physical capital because it is a human resource that makes use of land and capital. The large population of India can be termed into a productive asset by investment in human capital through education, training, etc. A child with investment made on his or her education and health can yield a high return in future in the form of higher earnings and greater contribution to society. Countries like Japan have invested in human resource. They have invested on people, especially in the field of education and health. These people have made efficient use of other resources such as land and capital. Efficiency and the technology evolved by people have made these countries rich and developed. Dear students, people are engaged in various activities which can be classified into three main sectors, primary, secondary and tertiary. Primary sector includes agriculture, forestry, animal husbandry, fishing, poultry farming, mining, and quarrying. Secondary sector includes manufacturing activities. Tertiary sector includes trade, transport, communication, banking, education, health, tourism, services, insurance, etc. 
Since these activities add value to the national income, they are called economic activities. Economic activities have two parts, market activities and non-market activities. Market activities involve remuneration to anyone who performs, whereas non-market activities are the production for self-consumption. Their students, education and skill are the major determinants of the earnings of any individuals in the market since a majority of women have mega education and low skill formation they are paid low compared to men however women with high education and skill formation are paid at par with the men dear students let's recap the person people as resource we have also learned about investment in human capital human capital is one way superior to other resources we have also learned economic activities by men and women thank you students have a great day ahead